Back in May, I asked for some help from my Patreon members, and two of you guys reached out, Arno Punsell and Andy Schwartz. So a big thank you to both of you for helping out with this project. Oh yeah, and today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. So I've taken Arno's logo here for Three Rivers Craftsworks down in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, converted it into a depth map image, and we've got it loaded up into Lightburn. I'm just gonna run a simple test to see how this works. So on the final coin, we don't have any mishaps. So the coin we're using is just this simple brass coin. Obviously this side has my logo on it. We're gonna engrave it on the back side of this just to make sure that the settings are dialed in. So when we go to engrave it on the final coin here, we don't run into any issues since these were the only two coins that they sent over. Andy, we'll be doing something different for your logo. So the image itself is looking pretty good. It is slightly larger than I want it to be on the final piece. So before we engrave it on the final piece, I am gonna have to shrink it down just a little bit. But the settings all seem to be working just fine. Obviously it still has to be cleaned up before it can actually be used, but the results starting to look like what I was hoping. So let's replace it with the final piece. So for Andy's, we could do glass, or we could try glass. We could do slate. Got plenty of old slate roofing tiles that would be pretty cool. Clean them off. Or we could do what diode lasers tend to do best, wood. So I've got this gorgeous piece of black walnut that I've had lying around the shop for a little while now. So that's what we're gonna do Andy's logo on. I think his will work pretty good on this. Why limit your project to just one manufacturing method? PCBWay lets you mix and match. Need 3D printed prototypes with CNC machined aluminum parts? No problem. Want a custom bracket, CNC cut from carbon fiber, and a flexible TPU print? They've got you covered. With PCBWay, you're not stuck choosing just one process. You can combine materials, techniques, and technologies to build exactly what you need. Skip the hassle of multiple vendors and get it all done in one place. Upload your designs and get a free instant quote today at PCBWay.com. So this came out okay. There's a lot of little lines in here from where it was scanning. And overall, the level of detail is just not great. You think the only thing that really came out okay, I guess, is the city skyline there of Pittsburgh. Everything else is kind of super lacking in detail and even fades off to basically nothing towards the bottom. So I'm gonna flip it over and see if we can get a better result changing the settings around a little bit. So one thing I'm changing is this initial image that's in here is really gonna be hard to see on camera, but essentially it's a little bit darker, should allow for these this text to engrave a little bit better, and then of course the city skylines. And I've also gone ahead and changed our speed from 1,000 millimeters per second down to 750. I increased to 300 passes up from 250. And then I also told the cleaning pass to only do 20% power every 100 passes. So instead of it doing it every 20 passes or so, Maybe this will help us get a little bit more level of detail. At least that's what I'm hoping. So I've got the coin flipped over on the laser. You see there's our initial side. I'll just bump it back into position there and see how this one comes out. So 
So it's not really looking a whole lot different than it was before, if I'm being 100% honest. Like the text down at the bottom, down over there, basically non-existent in this engraving. We'll see. Well then, on this side, we've got our first engraving. Looks not very good, right? Then we have our second engraving. From a first glance, also looks not very good. Let's clean it off and see what we get. Is there an engraving on there? Yeah, but honestly, this other side still looks better. I mean, they both don't look good, so I'm not really sure what to, what to think. If you have any experience with engraving brass coins on a fiber laser. I'd love to hear your comments down in the comment section below. I have a plan for Arno's design. We're not, we're not skimping out on his design for this video. So again, I could use the Monport. It's got a lot more power, but at the same time, I'm not sure if more power is what we need. It could also be related to the site that I use to convert the image into a depth map. So possibly testing out a different service is also in the books, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below specifically those of you who have engraved depth map images uh, onto a brass coin, because something's weird. I'm almost wondering if too much power is what was happening, because our first image, our little test here, the text looks great. I mean, you can clearly see Pittsburgh PA, and you can start to see some of the, the uh, words up at the top that show Three River Craftsmen, or Craftworks. But after 200 passes or something, this is what we ended up with. And I follow the guidance on ComMarker's website as far as the settings they recommend for the laser. Now the laser that they have on there as far as engraving brass coins is a 30 watt. And I use the same settings and that's what we got our original image with. So I figured that should probably work, right? But after about an hour and a half, we were obviously left with some not so pleasant results. On a side note, Andy's sign looks phenomenal. So yeah, it's just a bit odd to me that that's the one we were getting originally. So I ran with those settings and that's what we ended up with. So Arno, don't, don't worry, I'll have one coming to you. I gotta get more brass coins on the way. But for now, I've got a different idea for yours. Those of you familiar with brass coins, let me know what I did wrong in the comments section down below. Cause neither of the results came out how I was expecting to based off of our first uh, test piece anyway. So ComMarker also sent over this little plate here when they sent the B6. Yeah. 